All right, guys, so guess what? We're back here at River Ventures headquarters, and there was a lot of really cool stuff about manatees that we just knew we wouldn't be able to fit into the episode, but it's still really, really important. And we know there are a lot of you guys out there who really dig these animals, so we had an opportunity to speak with Brandy Wooten, who runs River Ventures and Safaris and has a background in marine science, and she's been down here for quite a while and has had a lot of opportunities to talk to folks about manatees, Absolutely. so we're going to have a chance to hear a little bit about them. So, Brandy, tell us why this kind of funny looking creature is uh -huh. so very important to South Florida's ecology, if you will. Well, I think here in Citrus County, they're, they're obviously the root of our economic base. I mean, mm -hmm. they're what bring people here to Citrus County. They're what provide jobs, provide industry. Um, but more than that, they're really the vacuum cleaners of this ecosystem. Okay, wow. so they keep all the waterways here traversable, inland waterways as well as the coastlines. Uh, they eat 10% of their body weight every single day in greens. So we would get all clogged up if it wasn't for these guys. They're kind of like super duper vacuum cleaners. Flip side to that is one of their biggest problems, people don't realize this, uh, is that they tend to eat our garbage as oh, well. Yeah. So we'll have a lot of mortalities, uh, even in the area related to things like plastic bags, right. fishing line filament. Um, so that's one of the things we really try to do here is spread the word. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation, just like about most animals. Mm -hmm. A lot of misinformation about what really hurts them. And one of our biggest problems here is actually our garbage and things that's like red algaes and green algae blooms, things like that. We're having a problem with that right now, as a matter of fact. Largest uh, contributor to manatee mortality in the last 10 years uh, was actually a red tide in 2013. Really? A lot of people are, are unaware of that. They think it's just the boats. Mm -hmm. Here in Crystal River, we have very strict boating laws, one of the mm -hmm. reasons we have very few mortalities. Um, but things like red tide and brown algae are, are huge problems for these animals. Interesting. Well, it is interesting because you know, I may not be able to impact red tide or green right, tide, right. but I can definitely impact the amount of garbage that Absolutely. I put out. And how Spread the word. So, so what would you just suggest to people who live in areas where there are manatees about managing their trash? Um, well, first of all, dispose of it properly. Mm -hmm. If you are on the water, then make sure you take your trash with you and you don't leave it behind. Behind. If it you. blows into the water, make a little extra effort. Sometimes that's all it takes. Oh, yeah, when yeah. we go out there on tours, not only do you have a captain on your boat, but you mm -hmm. have a guide in the water with you, mm -hmm. and our guides are continuously picking up garbage. Wow. So if you're in the water and you see something, what does it take, two, three seconds to pick up a can or, or some pla up some plastic bags? Pick it up and take it with you. That's yeah. a very, very important thing to do. And then for people who live along these waterways, um, fertilizer is a huge contributor to all these problems with um, uh, the water biology and the nitrates in the water. So if you live along the waterways, maybe try to find some natural solutions versus using uh, chemical pesticides and fertilizers. Interesting. And if that's not a big enough motivation for you, letting trash blow off your boat is a nice find down here as well. It's a pretty hefty find. You've got <laughs> it's it. Gonna, it's going to so. rival your vacation you costs. You got it. So, you got it. Um, for example, the federal laws down here for bothering manatees can mm -hmm. run up to uh, five years in prison and $100,000. So, that's right. So, you know, come down here on vacation and never go back. Every once in a while, about once a year, we'll hear some nightmare story about someone who rides a manatee, does something crazy like that, and you know what? The police will chase them, they'll mm -hmm. do a full investigation, and they do end up in jail or with very hefty fines. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's... And rightly so. They need to be protected. Absolutely. Uh, the animals don't really have any defenses on their own except for to swim away. So when they want to disengage and swim away, we have to let them go. And even though they're big, they're highly sensitive to touch. Mm -hmm. So riding manatees is just really a, a sign of disrespect that they don't deserve. Absolutely. Most of them are older than us. That's another thing a lot of people mm -hmm. Don't understand. If you're next to a manatee and he's a lot bigger than you, he's probably older than you. He's been living here a lot longer than us, so they deserve our respect. It's amazing. I honestly don't even know how anyone could ride a manatee. <laughs> I ended up over top of a couple of them, just you know, yeah. drifting, and I was like, "There's no way," because I, I, we were talking about that before. I was like, "There's no way I could embrace this thing. It would be rather..." Difficult. Well, you'd have to stretch first. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to get like. <laughs> uh, too bad. They, too bad they can't buck you off, right? I think they probably could if they wanted to. <laughs> they probably. But they're pretty could. casual animals. You know, they're pretty laid. Back. Back, so. Well, I thought another thing that was really interesting, too, was that um, I'm like, see, I come from the reptile world. In the reptile right. world, it's like, you're good. See you later after you give birth. Yeah. What's amazing about these animals is that these calves will spend 15 to 18 months with them Absolutely. after birth. That's and right. it's like right next to them. And they communicate with each other. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Well, they're, they're beautiful mothers. They're excellent mothers. Mm -hmm. um, in most parts of Florida, they'll tell you the babies will stay with mother up to two years. Really? Um, here in Crystal River, scientists believe they stay with mama about a 
year longer. Wow. The migrational uh, migrational pattern is a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. So sometimes babies are with mama for up to three years, mm -hmm. uh, and they teach them how to migrate about second year into life. Um, very rarely do we have twins. They mm -hmm. almost have one baby almost every five years. Their gestational period is almost 14 months, about 13 months. So they carry them even longer than we do. Uh, and that's one but of the they reasons. Don't complain. They don't <laughs> complain. They don't complain. I'll tell you what, they look miserable when they're about to pop. They I'll get they huge. Um, they give birth to one young at a time, almost mm -hmm. always. If you see a mommy out there and she's got two babies, mm -hmm. it's almost always a foster type scenario. Interesting. So yeah, mama has milk and something happened to another mother. Uh, so they'll take, they'll take that baby over. That's amazing. But they're great mothers and they teach them to migrate and how to survive. Uh, and sometimes they'll stay with them almost to the same size, you know, they'll have to shake them off like an yeah. adult child, like, yeah. when are you going to leave? We, we, we know that scenario. <laughs> We're working on that as well. <laughs> I do have one last question for you, though, real quickly. What makes Crystal Springs area so unique? If you're coming to, and you want to see manatees, why is this the place to come? Well, right now, Crystal River is one of the only spring heads, or one mm -hmm. of the only area of springs where they tend to congregate, mm -hmm. that is still open for us to swim and and sort of um, interact with them in the winter times. Mm -hmm. There are other areas where they congregate, uh, Silver Springs, Blue Springs, but once the manatees move into those areas, they're closed down to humans. Okay, wow. here we have a scenario with U.S. Fish and Wildlife, mm -hmm. the federal government essentially issues us special use permits, so we can take people out into the wildlife refuge as long as we follow a strict set of protocols. Uh, we can introduce them to the animals, and then the rest is kind of between the humans and the animals. The animals sometimes initiate contact. Right. Sometimes it's just observational. We yeah. keep our distance. Yeah. Typically, they're eating or sleeping. I mean, they do that a lot. Yeah. Uh, but we still get to see them. In their natural habitat, which is so different than seeing them in an aquarium. Mm -hmm. It's it's just so special when it, when you do have that moment face to face with an animal. Uh, it can be life changing. I've had grown men come back uh, sobbing, crying, hug me. You know, <laughs> I've had kids come back and say, "Okay, that's it. That's what I want to do with my life. I want to be a marine biologist." Wow. So we get to touch about thirty five thousand people a year, educate them about the animals, and for me, that's really what makes this all legitimate. They leave here with a, with a deep love for the animals. That's what it's all about. Well, I can tell you this: we went out there, and I know myself personally. I was able to kind of time the breath between when she would come up for air and so I position myself and she would come up and it was like one point she was like right there I mean closer than the prom date and I was like this is really cool so thank you so much you again are Brandy, welcome. It's for so sharing good to this have you. it was great to have you here today to be with us and to share a little bit with our viewers so we just want to thank you again and guys remember if you ever want to go and have uh, a great opportunity to see these animals River Ventures is a place you want to do it and right. you can check them out River Ventures is, is the that's website. right. Uh, River Ventures, www.riverventures.com. Tons of info on there. Uh, you can even book online, but call us if you have any questions or concerns. We'll just ease your mind. Very cool. All right. Well, I highly encourage it. So, talk to you later. Stay tuned, stay scaly, and don't forget, check out the manatees at River Ventures. Absolutely. All right. Bye bye.